guys and welcome to another Disney reading. Today we've got Disney Pixar, The Incredibles, I'm Syndrome, which is May 16th. Bob and Helen Parr were supers, but they had to stop using their powers when people started complaining about them. Some people didn't want to be saved, but Bob had missed his life as a super and had started super work again. A woman called Mirage had seen him doing this and brought him to the island of uh, no ma no mansion no mansion I need to check that one and given him a mission to defeat an evil robot called an omnidroid he had succeeded Bob's wife Helen didn't know about any of this Bob knew she'd be upset so didn't tell her Bob was feeling good he was started uh, he started ex exercising more and even had a new super suit made by fashion designer Edna Mode the new suit arrived just in time. Mirage had a new assignment for Bob. Bob told Helen it was a business conference and flew back to the island. But Helen had discovered a blonde hair on his jacket. She wondered where he was really going. Mr Incredible got quite a shock when he arrived for his briefing. A new and improved Omnidroid attacked him. This time the robot was unbeatable. As he defeated the hero, a stranger in a black costume appeared. It's too much for Mr. Incredible, the stranger gloated. I went through quite a few supers to make it worthy to fight you. But you're worth it. After all, I'm your biggest fan. Buddy, Mr. Incredible said. Buddy was once Mr. Incredible's number one fan. As a boy, Buddy had asked to be the super sidekick. But Mr. Incredible explained to him that supers were born, not made. My name's not Buddy. I'm Syndrome, Buddy cried. And now I have a weapon that only I can defeat. As Mr. Incredible tried to escape, Syndrome froze him in his Imobi Ray. Who's super now? he yelled. But then he lost control and accidentally flung Mr. Incredible off a waterfall. Syndrome threw a bomb after him, but Mr. Incredible found safety in an underwater cave. Syndrome sent a probe to find him, but the hero kid behind, uh, hid behind the remains of Gazer Beam, a super who had died battling the Omnidroid. Just before he died, Gazerbeam had used his laser vision to etch the words Kronos on the cave wall. What could it mean? Bob wondered. Meanwhile, Helen had found Bob's newly mended suit. She knew that Edna Mode must have fixed it, so she went straight to her to find out what Bob was up to and where he was. It was up to Helen to help her husband now. So guys, I hope you liked that story. If you did, click like. If you'd like to see more, click subscribe. and. As I mentioned in the other video, um, there'll be other videos being uploaded, all sorts of different ones. Um, and I'll see you guys very soon, and have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.